Diane's not in a box yet. Uh, and boy, this is a real fucking shit show. The Democrats are such cowards. This woman is almost 90 years old. She's had dementia for probably five years. And uh, she, when she arrived back in, in Congress, someone was like, uh, what's it like being away for so long? She's like, I haven't been away. Yeah. I haven't, I've been here the whole time. She's doing great. Yeah, she said those who know, know, and those who don't, don't know, or something like that. And That's then they true. wheeled her off <laughs> before yeah. she could say more incriminating <laughs> shit. Why are they so intent on keeping her? Why are they doing this to her? Why are what they do you mean? Well, there's, um, a, there's a, there's a uh, very plausible theory that uh, came out uh, just this morning that, uh, that we're going to get to in a minute. Like, dude, she's not fit to play bingo. Let alone run our fucking country. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? It's like, like it's what like, the if you fuck? think if you think she's fit, if you think she's mentally fit to be in such a powerful committee, like part of the part of the only power that the legislative body has 89. at this point is appointments, <clears throat> like court appointments, and also investigations into I don't know the Supreme Court, for example, which currently is under a lot of fucking reasonable scrutiny for the first time in its goddamn history since his fucking inception mm -hmm. with Clarence Thomas and his, like, financial misdeeds and uh, his refusal overall to, uh, you know, write down uh, lobbying dollars that he's gotten from people that actually have a lot of business with the Supreme Court, right? Like, right now, you need uh, the the uh, Senate Judicial uh, Committee to, to launch an investigation. She's she's a part of it. I don't know if she's That's the chair, but I think she might I be mean, the chair, dude. But the point is this, right? They they do appointments. They vote for uh, they they uh, they're the ones who are supposed to investigate the the uh, judiciary. Put in judges. Um. Yeah, and they're not doing that because they can't do that because one of the uh you know more senior most senior members on the fucking uh, committee is dead. Okay. She's functionally a vegetable that can move around. Yeah. She is the uh, second behind Dick Durbin. Dick Durbin. Mm. Yeah, Dick Durbin, chair. who's also My boy. Whip. What yeah. a name, She's huh? She's also died. Yeah, so Diana, uh, Diana has missed 91 Senate votes since getting oh, yeah. the we shingles. Have, we have a graphic, by the way. <laughs> Return of the Queen. Welcome back, Queen. <laughs> Biden hasn't been able to get any federal judges confirmed since your, her absence. And it was announced in February that she'd be retiring at the end of her term in 2024. Uh, there have been calls for her to resign. Nobody's nobody wants to do anything about it. Uh, pe Nancy Pelosi, actually another old ass fucking freak, by the way. Cr who, fuck Nancy Pelosi, dude, and her husband scumbags. Oh. Fuck them both, dude. She's, of course she's going to say, she's 80 herself, like, step aside, Grandma. But she's like, yo, it's sexist to ask uh, for Feinstein to resign. I'm sorry? Senator Feinstein, should or shouldn't you do? Senator Feinstein has been a champion for California. Great, move the fuck on. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandma right. oh, sitting God. by the bank oh, Jordan, no. stop. pool. No, Cut okay, off. Jordan, go Cut on. Off. Jordan, continue. Oh, so, the region was exposed. <clears throat> dimly. Speech, brother. She had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. She was he said it herself all. absentmindedly. Go on. So she here's walked the thing. over to me oh, God. with a handful of pubic hair compacted into something resembling a large artist's paintbrush. She pushed this at my face. Right. I raised my arm several times to deflect her hand. Mm -hmm. Finally, unwilling to hurt her. Or interfere with her any further. Mm -hmm. I let her have her way. Thank you. There it is. Said it all. So Feinstein as a vote is genuinely important for appointments uh, for for judges, obviously, because uh, you know slim majority and all, narrow majority in the Senate and all. Um, but also, they knew. They knew that she was like brain dead for. Uh, years now, Decade, as you correctly close, pointed yeah. out, there was always talk, uh, you know, there's always like a political article here and there that like talked about whether she was capable or not. Um, when they were doing the, the Kavanaugh confirmation, uh, she had a lot of like weird takes that, uh, and she had to be like, oh, right. removed she was like, from the this room is the and best, stuff. Like, this is the best run 
yeah. committee of all time, or I forget what she said. And Thank you like want to know center. what? You want to know? You want to know what's fucking awful about all that? They knew all of that, and then they still put her on the fucking uh, judiciary committee. Yeah, they mm-hmm. still put her on, so the Democrats are fucking responsible. Because, why do they do it? Because, well, this may not be why, but all the head, senior, high level Democrats are all like seventy five plus old motherfuckers. Who don't want to be, uh, who don't want to retire. No, it's the same. It's that, but also there's a secondary reason. And that reason is what I just mentioned to you already. Maggie Hassan, Kirsten Cinema, who's now independent, Joe Manchin, uh, they did it. Bob Menendez. These people in the Democratic Party play a very important role, a much more important role than the, the AOCs and the Bernie Sanderses and even the Ed Markeys of the Democratic Party, which are more to the progressive side. Those guys are bad. The progressives are bad. In the eyes of the National Democratic Party, the DNC, the, 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 the people who hold the levers of power, they look to progressive candidates and they look to progressive senators and, and representatives as a, 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 a genuine threat to the established order. Because the Democratic Party does not want to make the actual progressive changes that they campaign on. So they love when there's a bottleneck. And Dianne Feinstein's, uh, you know, uh, uh, Diane Feinstein's mental faculties not being in order and her inability to actually do the job that she was elected for is actually not that bad of a thing for the Democratic Party because they can always point to her and go, oh, fuck, we really wanted to do this thing, but we can't start an investigation. Diane Feinstein's not there. You think so? I think that plays a role, yes. I think that, because it's not an accident that every election cycle, they're like, oh, we need a majority. We need a majority in the Senate. We need a majority in the representative, House of Representatives. Uh, you know, we need to win. And then immediately they create bottlenecks for themselves uh, that that stand in the way of uh, progressive legislation that they promised, like fifteen dollar minimum wage was a was a promise. Mm. Right. Mm. Increasing minimum wage at the federal level to fifteen dollars was a promise uh, that was not fulfilled. Why wasn't it fulfilled? Because they pointed to the Senate parliamentarian claiming that. Uh, increasing the minimum wage to fifteen dollars would not actually fit under the jurisdiction of a a budget reconciliation bill, which it absolutely would, for the record. Mm. But the Senate parliamentarian claimed that it would not work. You could not put that in, and the Democratic Party just basically threw their hands at the side and went, "Oh shit, we can't do that." Not the parliamentarian. Not the Senate that parliamentarian. Thing that we all know what it is. And, and the Senate about. parliamentarian is a historically appointed position, <laughs> and actually, the Senate parliamentarian has been removed in the past by Republicans under the Bush administration. Mm. Any time a Senate parliamentarian says no, you have uh, well within your power to actually remove them from power and appoint someone who will play ball with you. That is, of course, if you genuinely care about following through on your agenda, which the Democrats don't. So Dianne Feinstein's ineptitude here, her, her medical inability to, to you know, do the job, is actually not a burden. It's a burden to you if you are a, a you know, doughy-eyed uh, believer that, in the Democratic how that Party. Helps them to be ineffective. What do you mean? It, it helps the Democratic Party a, to be ineffective. You want to know why? Because they, they love promise, being... That they're going to do something and then they don't get it done. Okay. It's not going to help any of them. No, let me explain. The Democratic Party loves winning seats, but also still losing power somehow. Why? Because the Democratic Party, just like the Republican Party, are beholden to the same corporate interests. Those are the guys who are greasing their wheels. The same corporations and the same wealthy people are the people that are giving them money, just like they're giving the Republican Party money. The Republican Party also, on the other hand, can play a culture war issue uh, uh, focused uh, policy uh, uh, policy strategy and win votes. The Democratic Party, on the other hand, has to put on uh, economic progress as like one of their key agenda items, right? Mm. But they don't actually want to follow through on that because every single thing that they would do, whether it be increasing the minimum wage of $15 or abolishing all student loan debt, for example, would hurt a lot of their real benefactors, their real constituents that they care about corporations and the mega wealthy so they have to constantly and it's not an accident if you've been following politics as long as i have you've been covering this for as long as i have after like the 10th cycle of oh shit we really can't do this again because joe lieberman is standing in the uh you know way of progress under the obama administration when we have a super majority in the senate or oh shit joe manchin and kirsten cinema are standing in the way of progress and we can't actually get all of our uh you know policy items on to 
a bill that we should be able to effectively spear dick through Congress, uh, you realize that they're doing that per- on purpose. They're mm. doing that because it is by design. They do not want well, uh, legitimate up, material change to happen because that would undermine profit margins. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been well, here, Nan- so I'm Nan- just fucking Nan- talking. Nan- <laughs> well, they're really no, you're interesting, good. and it's sad. Nancy Pelosi, is, I mean, again, she, her insider trading with her husband is so blatant, it mm-hmm. actually makes me want to puke. He's like the most successful trader of all time. Uh, but anyway, here she is. We, didn't, we never even got to her saying. For 20 years, I have been the leader or the speaker of the House fighting for California, and I have seen up close and firsthand her great leadership. Oh. Have you seen up close and firsthand how, her, demented, her demented mind? Okay. Here's what I got. Wait, for hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's finish the video. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pause country, it. But especially for our state of California. Uh, she deserves the respect to to get well and be back. Suck uh, my fucking cock. And, uh, Fuck you. I mean, she you could get well by retiring. You fucking monster, you donkey. Shut up, you most pe- fucking animal. <laughs> I mean, most people taking the time to get well is like, you know. Retiring. I mean, at that age, yes. To enjoy the, the fruits fuck, of life. Get the fuck uh, out of uh, here! Just, uh, it's, it's he, he deserves respect. No, she fucking doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Leave Japan. I hate you. You're not. You do not deserve the the wonderful public oh, transit Japan. experience that Japan <laughs> offers to every single person. Until we get the high speed okay, rail in California. I'm, I'm waiting for the. She's about to drop and, the bomb. Uh, She's dropping the bomb, I right? Just, it's, it's interesting to me. I don't know what political agendas are at work that are going after Senator Feinstein in that way. I've never seen them go after a man who was sick. That's not the true. Senate they did this to Breyer. <laughs> they did this to Breyer. We literally did this to Breyer. Breyer retire. You're and talk- it worked. Look at her face, And it man. fucking worked. Look okay. at this fucking face. Here's what I got to say. You want Feinstein <laughs> to be in the Senate? Great. Okay, you fucking advocate that in public. You have to let her drive you to fucking Congress every morning. Oh, you stupid fuck. oh I love Do that it. deal. Yeah. You think she has the mental faculties? Do drive it. her, drive the car to Congress. Okay, <laughs> yeah. let her drive you to fucking Congress. Absolutely. She's not fit to serve soup at a soup kitchen. I mean, she can't do, she probably can't even dress herself. Let's be real. I don't think this woman dresses herself. No, she's done. She's over. It's literally a shell, okay? It's the fucking, the, you know, the lights on in the attic, but nobody's uh, home or whatever they say. Yeah, okay. Thank you uh, to uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's a vile piece of crap, and also... Demon, dude. Yo, yeah. it's so funny that, like, people that you would not... Oh, wait. People that you would not trust to, to man a fucking vehicle that you're inside of for understandable reasons... Are, are still trustworthy somehow to man the fucking country. Man and, the it, and it goes to show you, like, it, it it's true. Like, they don't really care who is in that seat. It's just an ass in a seat, okay? And the irony is, there are plenty of fucking old-ass senators, old-ass representatives who should retire but won't. But ultimately, at least they can sit on that seat and vote. Dianne Feinstein can't even fucking do that when there's a yeah. narrow, there is a, a slim majority in the, in the Senate. There is an interesting wrinkle in this. Uh, Nancy, uh, Diane's primary caregiver is Nancy Pelosi's daughter. Yeah, this, uh, this is from an article that just came out this morning. Oh my god. Yeah. That mm-hmm. makes so much sense. Okay, uh, here it says, uh, holy th- fuck, what a bombshell. I well, mean, pee real well, hold, let me read this, and then you can go pee. Alright, he's running. <laughs> I can't get through a single guy. <laughs>